Man, we ought to talk about this thing that Nintendo just recently posted up on their Twitter account, really warning us about something with Nintendo Switch cartridges that they should have told us before the Nintendo Switch even came out. And I do just want to do a quick reminder that we are giving away a Mythic Edition Satisfy Grip. Uh, there's a link down in the pinned comment or in the description. But I don't want to waste too much of your time. Let's just jump right into this. And you know what? We have this tweet over on the Nintendo, uh, one of the Nintendo official... Uh, accounts out here and let's just translate this tweet and it says in the game card slot there is a terminal to read the game card if you clean this with a cotton swab you know like a, like people tend to tell you to right take a cotton a cotton swab a you know whatever and, and and put some you know rubbing alcohol on that's usually a way to clean contact points a very popular way with elect consumer electronics or insert a game card with a broken terminal so this is Obviously, if your cartridge is broken, it may get caught in the terminal and break. Please do not touch the inside of the game card slot. And then they go on to make another suggestion here uh, with this follow-up tweet where they say, if dust gets inside the game card slot, use a vacuum cleaner to suck it out. Please do not blow on it. Saliva may adhere to the terminals and cause parts to rust or corrode. I also will note that you could probably use an aerosol can, you know, one of those air blowers, because then you're not worrying about saliva either. And the stuff that comes from that, you know, like when it sometimes freezes your parts, that 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 is not something that's actually going to damage your components. It's why it's popular to use uh, to blow out dust with computers and all of that. So while they don't make that suggestion, I would say that that is very, very interesting. But as they obviously note, up here in this original tweet, they really don't want you to use the cotton swab method, which I find to be fascinating uh, because they're really uh, the the only way I can see the reason I can see them warning on this now is that they've been sent a number of repairs where the inside of the place might have little debris or maybe some some strands uh, from those cotton swabs that might have been causing. It's a break, or people are being too aggressive with it. I'm going to be completely honest. I have cleaned my game card slot with rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab and have had zero problems, but also... I'm someone who like actively repairs electronics, so I'm a bit more experienced. I guess if someone's just looking up a guide online, maybe they're being like too aggressive with that cotton swab, and maybe that's what's causing it. I don't know. But what I find interesting is that this is a warning Nintendo. You know, if this was something that could cause a problem, and maybe Nintendo didn't know because I doubt they tested cleaning methods. Uh, I, I would say that this is one of those things that Nintendo probably should have warned us before the Switch even came out, or shortly thereafter. The fact the warning's coming six plus years into the system feels a little bit strange. Like, yeah, they told us not to lick the cartridges because they put a special coating on it, and yeah, that coating is to you know prevent infants and others from wanting to actually swallow the damn thing if they put it in their mouth. Uh, and I understand that point, or a patch or something like that, because the cartridges are quite small. It was nice of Nintendo to think of some sort of anti-measure there, but it's 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 very strange to me that a very common cleaning cleaning method is supposedly not supposed to be used because people are breaking their switches they're breaking the card readers uh definitely a new issue i'm not aware of but it is kind of a pain in the butt to replace those card readers so you know what if nintendo says not to do it don't do it don't do it you know use the vacuum method which works to varying degrees it doesn't necessarily always break the dust off when it's stuck or just use one of those air duster aerosol cans anyways guys i just wanted to bring this update to you guys because i think it is really important because a lot of us have switches that have been around for a while maybe uh we're, we're, we're worried about some bad contacts maybe when we put our cartridges in it doesn't always work so you're taking it out and re reinserting it chances are uh it's bad there they also say not to use the cotton swab on the actual cartridge pins either and again i think that the concern there is maybe some people they probably can't confirm this are ripping off pieces of that cotton swab getting it stuck on the contact points and then that could be breaking the slot as well again this has never been a problem for me but you know what? This is Nintendo's suggestion, so that is what we have to put forward to you guys. So let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Should they have told us about this ages ago? Because I think at this point, anyone that was going to do this has probably already broken their Switch. Or do you think this is a non-issue and Nintendo is just tired of seeing repairs of broken cartridge slots? I don't know, but we'll see you in that next video.